10 Surprising Psychological Facts About Falling in Love Love is a crazy force. It's unpredictable and inconsistent. It can be kind yet cruel, strong yet soft, invigorating yet tiring, unmistakable yet elusive. Love is the only force that can make you feel wonderful today and miserable tomorrow. Love is exhausting. It's no wonder we humans fall in love in unusual patterns. Anybody who's ever experienced love of any sort would relate to some of these psychological facts that guide the way we humans fall for one another. Talkative girls and quiet guys make the best couples. Most women are talkative and would always find quiet guys more attractive. Women hate it when the guy in their lives will monopolize 99% of their conversations without allowing them talk, but would be fine if it goes the other way round. Research says that the portion of the brain responsible for processing emotions, the limbic system is significantly deeper in females than in males. This means that a girl will listen to her man when he speaks. It only goes to say that girls expect that their listening and empathetic skills be reciprocated. When a woman speaks, she expects her man to listen, and this is more likely to happen if the guy is not talking all the time. You can literally feel sick if you don't speak with the one you love for more than 48 hours. Ever heard of the word lovesickness? It's a condition where you manifest physical symptoms as a result of emotional causes. For example, feeling sick when you're missing a loved one. You can develop stress, lack of sleep and negative feelings if you haven't seen someone you're deeply in love with for more than two days. Hormone fluctuations associated with love and heartbreak, particularly the stress hormone called cortisol, can cause hormonal imbalances that can result to physical pain and adverse effects on your health. This is why heartbreak after true love is equally as painful as physical pain. Lovesickness can manifest in different forms like insomnia, fever, loss of appetite, restlessness, dizziness, a pounding heart, fever, nausea, stomach pain and increased tearfulness. Anyways, it gives some relief to know that science has proven that people can feel a sense of relief just by looking at the pictures of their loved ones. People with higher IQs have a harder time falling in love. Intelligent people struggle with love. They trust their minds more than their hearts. They value personality over appearance. They overthink and overanalyze everything. They prefer not to be deprived of their freedom. They love their privacy more than anything in the world and they are genetically wired to have high standards. OMG intelligent people aren't easy to understand. Getting an intelligent person to fall in love with you is like breaching the wall in the Game of Thrones, 700 feet high and guarded by the Night's Watch. It's mission impossible without the help of Viserion, the Night King's dragon. Men fall in love faster than women. Women take 15 days, men just 8 seconds. If a woman could see the world through male colored glasses, she'd be astonished by how different her outlook would be. According to a report in the journal Archives of Sexual Behavior, Scientists have proved that it takes about 8.2 seconds for a man to fall head over heels in love for a woman. Men are triggered instantly with eye contact. However, this is not the same story for women. Women don't have the superhuman ability that men possess, wanting sex first, then love and relationship later. They have brain features that makes them far more efficient in appreciating the complete range and deepness of emotional spectrum as compared to men. This means that they would rather get to know you, process you, size you up, and decide if you're qualified for their emotional needs, 
and this takes about 15 days for lucky guys. Being loved back by the person you love exactly feels like having butterflies in the stomach. The beginning of new relationships can feel like the classic romantic movies you see on TV. When you're in love with a person and you get an impression that the person loves you back, your dopamine and endorphin, feel-good hormones level in your body increases instantly. You get excited, ecstatic, elevated and happy. Your heart rate increases, there's a ringing in your ear, and your eyesight gets a bit cloudy. Your stomach churns a bit and it feels like there are butterflies in your stomach. According to Dr. Scott Carroll, a psychiatrist and the author of Don't Settle, How to Marry the Man You Were Meant For, these hormones drop to only mildly elevated levels compared to the pre-relationship level. This means that number of butterflies in your stomach will continue to reduce as your relationship gets older. You're most likely to be attracted to someone you have no chance with. Psychology says, unavailability often makes people more attractive. Why? Because the more likely it is for you to get something, the less of it you'll want to have, and the less likely it is for you to get something, the more of it you'll want to have. Do you get the feeling that you're always chasing someone you can't have? Or maybe you get the feeling that the more someone pulls away, the more you end up wanting them? Whatever the case may be, this is feeling we get is partly due to our vanity and self-esteem, and partly due to our distorted sense of their value. A woman who makes him feel like a man is the woman a man falls for. First of all, the main function of our hormones is to determine our behaviors by modifying our brain's perceptions. Hormones vary with gender. For men, it's testosterone and vasopressin, and for women, estrogen and oxytocin. Female hormones will naturally drive women to crave emotional connections and relationships while male hormones will drive men to crave aggression and territorial behaviors. As a result of this, a man would rather stick to a woman who is rather submissive and respectful, and most importantly, a woman who won't threaten or challenge his territory as a man. On the corresponding hand, a woman would rather stick to a man who constantly provides adequate affection for her. After a major heartbreak, the odds of falling deeply in love again reduces drastically. Thousands of years ago, Our ancestors survived extinction not because they were loving creatures or because they had the latest technology that could upload TikTok videos without internet connection. They survived because they had an innate ability to sense danger from a long distance and communicate this information with one another. They knew how to stay out of danger, find shelter, food and not get eaten by predators because their human brain was always at alert, scanning the entire perimeter to sense potential dangers that might threaten their safety. This is why they survived extinction and dominated the planet. We inherited this brain too. We constantly scan for danger in our everyday lives. That's why we suffer anxiety from fear of things that have not even happened to us yet. And that's why once we experience our first heartbreak, our brains try to protect us by screaming, Danger! Danger! Please don't ever fall in love again. It takes 18 months to forget someone you love with all your heart. According to research published in the Journal of Positive Psychology, It takes about 11 weeks to feel better after a relationship comes to an end. Interestingly, another study found it takes closer to 18 months to heal from the end of a marriage. In reality, people handle heartbreak differently and it is expected that the duration of the healing process will not be the same for everyone. C. Some people go to their graves still hoping to be loved by that one person. 
If this sounds like you, then living this way is like cheating yourself in life, forever. You can't continue to feel this way. You need to find a way to move on and enjoy life to the fullest. If someone cannot see the value in you, then you need someone else who can value your worth. And if you feel guilty because the fault was from you and they don't want you back, ever, then you need to do the following ASAP. Apologize to them, otherwise that guilt will rob you off positive emotions. Forgive yourself. Get rid of everything that reminds you of them. Go out there, meet people, fall in love, and be grateful for what you have. And don't forget to see a therapist if you need one. Trust is not the most important ingredient of a relationship. People say that trust is the most important part of a relationship, but I beg to differ. But let me ask you how deeply in love can one possibly be? Have you ever tested the deepest depth of love? What would it feel like to be in love with only one partner for 85 years straight? To completely know somebody from inside out for that length of time? I believe only time can tell. I've heard that trust is the most important secret of a relationship, but it's a false concept. Time is the most important thing. With time grows trust, friendship, and an inseparable bond between you and your partner. If a couple can be unconditionally patient with each other, I believe they will be able to weather any type of storm together, forever.